All right, in this video is going to talk about my hot prime that I make. They actually use a uh, metal in them, so that's what makes them even hotter. Specifically for the metals, um, because they don't light with black powder. Um, this is pretty much how I make mine. I use uh, potassium perchlorate, charcoal, red gum, and magnalium. So I'm going to do some testing so you guys can see for yourself how it works out. First off, and I don't have a light right now to show you, but I can see the little flex in there. Of uh, Actually, it does show up on camera. You can see a little sparkly. That's the magnalium inside of the black match. So this guy will still light up. And it's interesting that it actually lit because they generally do not light with just normal black powder and you need a hot primer. So it could also be that because the way I made my star, it lights a lot easier. I'm not sure exactly why because sometimes I can never get these stars to light but this is going to be with my star prime on there super super bright red on this one so another test that I'm going to be doing that is extremely hard to light is going to be thermite now thermite everyone knows you cannot light even with a torch it still won't light it so I'm going to do that and I'm going to try my star prime and this and let's see if we can get the uh, thermite to light. Okay, I went ahead and make some thermite real quick. All it is is 50% aluminum and 50% uh, iron, red iron oxide. So you just do half and half or one to one. Do a little bit of thermite first. Let's go ahead and test it out. I'll show you guys you can't even light it with a torch. I even have a propane torch inside, but I'm just going to use this for now. You can see the metal lighting up, but it will not light. Do some uh, BP, see if we'll get that to go. Cover everything up. Let's try this. Nope, still didn't light. Let's try this hot prime. Let's see if this hot prime will actually get this thermite to ignite because this hot prime does have uh, magnalium in it i'm gonna go ahead and use a fuse even then it still didn't want to light the magnalium or i'm sorry the thermite the thermite requires an even hotter amount of uh prime so that actually uses a spark uh sparkler i was going to say spark plug a sparkler to light it just in case let me try a little bit more star prime Let's see if that will light it it's not hot enough now we're going to see if lighting a star will light this um, thermite. And it in fact did. You can see it. It's burning there. So that right there is your thermite mix. It requires another hot mix such as a star because the star contains aluminum in it or magnesium rather so the, that's uh, start a light with black powder alone but somehow it worked this time so we're going to go ahead and test that again and this is kind of dangerous trying to do this next to this heat right here but it's fine um, i'll go ahead and see if i can use the heat to light the black match okay it already cooled off then and it still worked somehow my black powder is burning hot enough for the stars but like I said, I'm assuming that because the way I make my stars, they're able to burn um, easily with the black powder. So I guess they're not as hard to light because normally I, don't, I can't light a star without using the star prime. That's the whole reason why I made star prime because I used to use black powder and it didn't work. Um, I'm guessing because this also doesn't have any dextrin in it, it's not taking away from the burn and the speed. But whenever you do mix a binder in it, such as the dextrin, to stick it to the aluminum stars, um, that's when it takes away and it doesn't want to work. So 
as you can see in the video everything worked just fine um, but like I said I wanted to show you guys my star prime is what I use uh, but anyways that's it for this video if you have any questions just ask down below or any comments to add um, that way it helps others that have any questions um, but that's it for this video and I appreciate you all for watching